Welcome back, my crafty peeps. Welcome to my channel. At Chipped in Time, I am Cami, and I am the creator on this channel. So, today, um, well, let's go ahead and take care of business. I usually do it at the end of, video, end of the video. Let's do it at the beginning today. If you don't already know who I am, follow me on Instagram. I am super active over there, and also I like to do videos here and there for you guys here on the YouTubes. Um, you can follow me at Chipped in Time as well. Just you know, put that in the search bar. I should come right up. Um, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, please do so and be sure to give us a thumbs up because, you know, that's what we're supposed to say, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, today, today we are working on the Kelly Bangs City Life Collection. And I've already done a video of all of the pages that come in this collection. Today, I am going to be working on this here piece of chipboard. It's super heavy weight, and then a couple of um, binder rings. I was like, what are these called? Binder rings, boop, boop. Okay, so we are going to be building a 2024, are you ready for this? Travel journal, because City Life is all about all the traveling. And I'm super excited to just dive in and create a fun album that will be a documenting place for all of my travels in 2024. So, I'll... Okay, the magic of television. Now I have cut that chipboard into two. Um, it is a six by six sheet now because it was 12. So now it's six. Oh, I'm sorry, this is probably three, maybe four. I went and grabbed my handy dandy ruler so that we could get this correct for you guys, and it is four. So six by four, same size as a regular photo, right? So that should be perfect. However, I will be cutting, not cutting, punching holes for my rings so the actual picture size will change just a tiny little bit. My first dilemma, I haven't even gotten started. <laughs> um, do I want it to open like a book or do I want it to be like a flip? Hmm. I'm seriously, this is, I'm, I'm just perplexed right now. All right, so I off camera sewed all of my pages. This is my cover. I've got my inside cover, my inside back cover, and then the back cover. So I've sewed all of those, um, and now we're going to adhere them to the chipboard. Everything is cut. I did fussy cutting off camera um, because, you know, you don't need to see all of that. It takes up whoopsie so much time so much time and we don't have time for that right? for adhering the front and back covers and the inside all the things i love i'm not even going to attempt to say that um this glue okay you can find it on amazon probably a few of your craft stores carry them but this is my favorite glue for this part of the process. Um, it just works so well. This is an extremely sticky glue, and that is my least favorite kind of glue, <laughs> but it, it just adheres better than any glue, and it lasts for a very long time. Like I've yet to have one album come apart. It works great with fabric. It works great with anything. I just don't like it on my hands. So that being said, I'm just gonna do a little, as <laughs> little bit of getting it on my hands as possible. I like to make sure I get the edges real well. And there is kind of, I mean, if I was using this side, there would definitely be, you know, it would have to be like this, but it's not sticking this on here. 
and getting glue all over. So hold on, I have to get it off. I cannot stand it, drives me crazy. But again, this is the best glue for the job. Corners are super important because that's where you're gonna be handling the book, right? When you open it and whatnot. So there's the front. And then there's the inside cover, and now we will do the inside cover on the back. And there's no, the only time you really need to worry about your paper, like I said earlier, is if it's, you know, if there's a pattern on it, and you know, you wanna make sure the pattern's straight. But this one, you can't tell if the pattern's straight or not on either of them, so. That's kind of fun with this collection and these map papers is that there is not, it's not directional necessarily. Sure it could be, I guess, if you know how to tell a map <laughs> or read a map, I guess I should say. Um, but I don't think, obviously I've cut the page now, um, but I don't think it said that it was like if there was a, a compass on it is that that's not the word I'm thinking of but you know what I'm trying to say so this page I cut just a little bit too short but I'm okay with that I, that doesn't bother me it's gonna be on the back very few people are probably gonna look at the back so I'm not gonna worry about it and waste the paper which I could put the paper inside as a page but you know that would just be too easy. So now we've got, I like to kind of press it out, make sure there's as little air in there as possible. And plus if there's any glue stuck, you can fill it this way as well and get that off of there. So, Okay, now I do have to decide what is gonna be my front and my back, or my top and my bottom, I guess. So, and it's not gonna matter too, too much. But now I'm gonna do the hard work. This did not go over all the way for some reason. Okay, there we go. And this page, which you can't tell from this side, but this side, it's over just a little bit. So I am going to take, you could take scissors and trim that off. I'm gonna just take an X-Acto knife and trim it off. And I will need to grab my, so mat. a self-healing mat is what I grabbed for that. And then I'm just gonna go right up on the edge and trim that right off. And then that way it's, and it looked like, yeah, on this side I did a little bit too, so. Which, it's not gonna matter too much except that as you're flipping it, that's gonna be what catches and that's gonna make your cover come off. So I went ahead and trimmed both sides of at least my cover. Um, the back probably isn't going to make as big a difference. So there, there we go. The top and the bottom, those are not going to matter really. Um, but now I need to, we need to see... I, I brought my <laughs> handy dandy ruler out and we're gonna do inches because we decided that this was four. So I am going to punch a hole at one and three. I'm gonna actually do it on the inside. I'm gonna mark it on the inside because the inside will be a little bit easier if I have an oops. <laughs> than the cover, especially because it's that white paper. So I'm just gonna put a little mark here, 
and a little mark here. And then I'm gonna grab my crocodile, the hole punch crocodile. They know there's a couple of them. This is the hole punch one. And this is from Mem We Are Memory Keepers. And there's a big side and a small side, and I wanna do the big side. And then I'm just going to find, so you can measure here if you want to be exact that you go in a half an inch or, you know, whatever. Oh, come on. There we go. So if I want to go in a full half an inch, I can do that. If I want to go in a quarter inch, I can measure that because there is a little ruler right here. So that makes it nice. So let's go ahead and do a quarter quarter. Let's see, is that going to give us enough? I want to make sure that I don't hole punch my stitching. So if I go there, that's good. And if I go there, that's good. So I'm just going to center up that mark. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. And I'm just going to punch it out and <laughs> bring this back out because it's that really thick chipboard, it's a little harder. So I don't know if you can see the hole or not, but. And I'm just working it out easily because I don't want to mess up the book. I don't mind about the little bit that was chomped, but. Okay, so now I've got that and I'm going to use this as my template. Does it look like I need to I need to trim off the back just because it's going to mess up the way they go together if I do not. So, I'm going to go ahead and trim that. always try to keep my lids on all the things, especially sharp tools, <laughs> because that's kind of important. Okay, now, okay, I was like, now I've lost the, the back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do, this is my, oh wait, this way. Okay, because <laughs> that's how my book is going to open is this way. So I want to make sure that I'm setting it on there correctly. And I'm just going to line up the four corners. And again, I'm just going to quick, let's put a little mark here and a little mark here. And this guy can stay. And now we're just about done. So make sure that you're using the big hole, not the little one. And I never moved my measure, so that's perfect. Oh, that one worked much better. And sometimes they get stuck in there and you gotta poke them out. I just use my scissors. There's all kinds of things that I use though. Sometimes a pencil, whatever I have handy. Oh, that side worked much better. Um, okay, so now they should fit together and you can see the holes line up beautifully. I don't know if you can tell. My finger goes under there awesomely. So now we can put our rings in. And technically our book is complete at this point. Um, because now I can do anything I want to it. Now I can decorate the pages. I can decorate the inside. I can add, I'm sorry, the cover and the back cover. I can add all of the pages in, but the book itself is done. That's basically how you do a ring book, right? I am going to go ahead and take this off because we are going to decorate the cover today. And now it's, it's got a direction, right? Like now I know this has to be 
on the left side because that's how it's gonna open, okay? And on this page, we are going to add a few of these elements. So let's add this. Oh, I, I wanna add this over here. And I'm thinking about putting a picture here, but because this is for 2024, maybe I will put a 24 in there. I haven't decided that yet, but I think that's probably, I just now decided that. What I will do, make sure you can tell that that's a little suitcase. I might actually, over just a little bit. I love these keys. I love these keys so much, but they have to go over just a little bit because I don't want them hanging off the edge of my cover. I don't want them to grab and get caught on something. And I think this is pretty much how I want to do it. Now I just have to decide, do I want to add dimension or just leave it flat because it's going to probably go with me. It's probably going to travel with me. And if it's gonna travel with me, unless I put it in a case, it's got to be flat. So as much as I don't want to do this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just glue it all down. And now I'm gonna use the Zig two-way glue stick. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these keys on first because I don't want them to get off the page. The cover. And I wanna make sure that we know that's an E. I'm putting it on the front and the back because it's going to kind of stick in here. And then this way I get all of it in there. Okay. And this is just for fun more than anything. I also wanted to add, I wanted that triangle of pink there to kind of just bring it all in together. And that's basically my cover. Like I said, I might put a 24, I might just leave it now that it's together like this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think, if we should just leave it or what. Okay, so now we're gonna do the inside cover. And I love, 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 loved this ticket. And I've cut it down to fit the page, but you'll notice I am going to be going over that hole. So what I'm going to do is, and we're gonna make this a pocket, okay? So I'm just gonna go around the edge here and not the top because I, wanna, I want that to be my pocket, like I was saying. We're gonna leave that open. I'm gonna put on plenty of glue because we want it to stick really good. We're gonna be pulling things in and out. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go just above the stitching just because it's kind of cute. Okay, and you could, if you want, type in here all of the details of what's going to be in your book or not gonna be in your book. 
I've left it blank because I'm probably gonna just fill it out myself. But now we have to deal with the fact that I can't get my um, ring back in there. So we're gonna grab our handy dandy crocodile. We're gonna dig out the chipboard. And now I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it and it should work beautifully. And now our rings work and I'm gonna put these in here. I thought this would be super fun to add dates and what the trip was and what a super cute punch card. I'll punch it for each trip that I take in the year. I thought that would be really fun. And if they stick out, that's great with me. I love it, love it, love it. And how about that little guy? I don't know, maybe we'll just Oh, he's kind of cute there, but I don't like the purple on purple. We're going to leave it off. I just like it like this. Okay, so now our cover and our inside cover are done. Love it so much. Now for the back cover. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rings in the front cover. And we're going to work on the back cover. And I loved the pocket idea so much. I want to put a pocket on the back too. And I loved this suitcase. I think it's adorable. I think it's like just absolutely just one of the cutest things ever. And I had to find a way to incorporate it. So a couple of things here that I took into consideration when I auditioned this piece. So I love the handle. I think it needs a handle. And I may go in... While I'm telling you about this, let's do that because I think I really want to have that white space open. Let me close this up. So I'm just gonna come in here with a X-Acto knife, which is not my favorite thing to do, but I really want that space to be white. I mean, to be open. And there's going to be some white because there just is. So you could use, like I was saying, it kind of hangs up over if I have this on here exactly, then it hang, it doesn't hang over. But if I want to put it on here like I did the front, then it's going to hang over and it's going to catch. So I'm actually going to put it on here to where it does not hang over because it's on the cover and I'm afraid that it will get um, messed up by hanging over. Like these can get messed. They're not going to get messed up because they're removable pieces. This is a solid piece that there's no, oh, see, that's why I don't like these teeny tiny bits. See, now I've ripped it. We're still going to use it. But now I just have to be even more careful with how this works because I can't rip both of them. Okay. And I was probably saying something and I've lost all train of thought to trying not to tear off the handle, but I love the handle. I think it just really makes it, you know, like a suitcase, which is one thing about Kelly's designs. Oh, it tore off. We may have to just tear it off now because I've made that huge mistake, which it still looks like a suitcase. I just loved the handle so much. Well, there you go. This is crafting in real life. <laughs> and now I don't have to worry about the handle anymore, but now I can cut the white off because I was worried about that anyways. I didn't like, I didn't like it, so. Bad things happen to good people. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, now it's there. Whoops. Remember, your holes have to stay on the left side. So now I'm going to actually make my opening this direction instead. Well, now that I don't have a handle, because I was going to go this way, but now that I don't have a handle, I think I will go that way. So there you go. See, you just kind of go with the flow. Nothing is a mistake. It's just 
another way to grow creativity and decide and design something new. I think it was Abraham Lincoln that says, necessity is the mother of all. Oh goodness, I'm a popular girl today. Uh, in Invention, necessity is the mother of all invention. So, and there you go. Now we've got our cover. I'll put those together. And our book is ready to fill up with all of our adventures. I'm super excited about all of the trips that we're going to be taking. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and creating another creation. I look forward to our next one. Keep it crafty, friends.